Have you ever struggled to figure out how to use a rack controller? Are you working on E2, E3, Microthermal, Danfoss, Corel, RDM? There's a huge list of them. I used to struggle with controls. And why did I struggle with them? I didn't put the work in. And so if you want to get better than me at controls, you need to put the work in. And how do I put the work in? You need to go and find the manuals. You need to take courses. You need to go and actually put the hands-on work. There's a lot of different demos out there. Uh, Copeland has demos. Microthermal has demos. I believe Carell, Danfoss, they all have different types of demos that you can use. I highly recommend starting to teach yourself. And how do you do that? Start with the manuals. How do you set up a board point? How do you set up a node? How do you set up suction group? These are all things that you can learn. And if you're a person that used to be just like me, where it's, oh, I'm no good at controls, but never put the work in, that was the reason. When I started learning about the controls, putting the work in, I got really good, and so can you. We talk about lots of this stuff in our different training programs. If you're interested in getting into a refrigeration mentor training program, or you want to learn more, put in the comments below that you want to learn more. Or shoot me an email at info at refrigerationmentor.com, and we will help you out along your refrigeration journey. My name is Sean Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.